Hey guys, today I'm going to be testing the South Bend Wire Crawfish Trap. I got this on Amazon as you can see here on the ad, uh, $10.96. Thought I would uh, put this in a road ditch and see if we can catch some crawfish. Now this is how it come from Amazon, so I'm fixing to take it out of the box. That's what it looks like. Wire cage looks like it's covered in a, a coating. It's got a little hook right here you can just unsnap. It's got a rubber band you can open up and uh, get your crawfish in and out. That's what the front of it looks like. This is something that kind of surprised me. It's got, it looks like about a two inch hole right there. I hope you can see it. That concerns me just a little but we're gonna test it and see. After reading the reviews, the one thing that I keep reading over and over is the size of this. Everybody's saying it's misrepresentative, so I'm just going to tell you exactly what it is. I've got my tape measure. All right, let's, uh, let's look at the ad and see what it says. It shows it's 18 by 12 by 6. So let's start out. All right, it says it's 18. It's actually 12. It says it's... 12 across, it's actually about 9 across if you can see there, and it says it's 6 inches tall, and it is about 6 inches, 6 and a half inches tall, so the ad says it's 18 by 12 by 6, in reality it's more like 12 by 9 by 6, With, I'm not real sure that's going to make a lot of difference, it'd be just a little bit bigger, but Tell you what, dude, let's, let's go see if it works. I know where there's a good road ditch for me and grandkids catch crawfish in all the time, so I'm gonna go put it in, bait it, and I'll get out there, I'll show you how I bait it, and we'll see if this thing will catch crawfish. Well, I'm gonna quickly show you how I've got my set up. What I did, this isn't actually a, a sack that oranges came in, I just cut a piece of the mesh. What I did is I put me a piece of bacon in it and I also put a handful of cat food in it. I just put a clip on it and I'm hanging it inside. That's going to be my bait. And what I did is I just got me another clip and I just clipped it on. Got me a string. Now all I'm going to do is drop it in the road ditch and we'll see. Well, let's drop it in and we'll see if we can catch some crawfish. Well, let's come back tomorrow and see if we can catch some. Well, we've left it overnight. As you can see, I got my grandson Asen with me. You've seen him in a lot of my crawfishing videos, so I'm gonna let him pull it in. We're gonna see if we got anything. We got any? Yeah. Oh, look there. Looks like we got quite a few. I'm not going to keep them. I'm just going to dump them out and let them go. Can you dump them out? Yeah. Okay, dump them out. Just dump them out. On the ground? Yeah, dump them out. <laughs> they want to hang on to the basket. Let go. Let go. Oh. Shake it hard. Shake it hard. Oh, he got off. And then there's... <laughs> got him. Like we got a whole basket full. Well, again, this is a South Bend crawfish trap. As you can see, it'll catch crawfish out of a road ditch, so I would think it would catch crawfish pretty much anywhere. So uh, 
If you had fun watching this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Till next time, catch you later.